Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 7, Episode 9, How to Inf Win Friends and Influence Monsters. And, by God, we have a good episode. This is the episode where the turducken is introduced. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of good humor in this episode. There's a good introduction to Dick with Bobby. Speaking of Bobby, there is quite a dramatic turn at the end of this episode for him. This episode starts with the brothers coming to the town and finding out that people are being eaten by what they cannot really truly describe. There is some similarities to the Jersey Devil, but aside from that, they can't really figure it out. The part that I remember the most about this episode, actually, was my dad's reaction to the campers being in essentially a modern tiny little house and having a television generator fucking bed frame and everything. I remember him laughing about that quite a bit when we watched this episode when it came out. But then also the humor of the episode, how everyone's just kind of stoned, and I'll give Jensen Ackles credit, he acts quite a bit the same to what I do. You just really want to eat and you kind of sound dumb. What does turn out is that there's some goop in that turducken, and it turns out it's all a ploy by the Dr. Leviathan character to try and make humans more subvert, some, like, more submissive. And technically speaking, it works, aside from the few that, like, all of a sudden become super high adrenaline monsters. Which, by the way, cool monster thing. I actually like the guy who they dissect. I thought that was some good gore. It hasn't seen stuff like that in Supernatural in a while. They find out what's going on. They go to the factory and Dick Roman appears. Bobby's able to listen in on a conversation and they bring the doctor into a room and it's actually probably one of the best bits of the episode is because they just hand him a bib and you're just trying to figure out what this means because he's so terrified of this thing but you don't know why and then it goes on and goes a little bit on and then eventually Bobby says well I think I've seen everything. He's got the doc eating himself. And God, that was such a funny little idea. And then eventually Bobby gets captured and he is brought into Dick Romanov's office. Which, by the way, can we just talk about how bad the Rise of Dick joke was? Like, aside from the incredibly lowball humor. Well, it's like I always say, if you want to win, then you gotta be the shark. And the shark's gotta eat. The Photoshop jobs, they're fucking awful, the worse they get. I'm not expecting the production crew to have like superb Photoshop skills at this time, and maybe they might have been on a budget constraint, but there's a couple of photos where you're like, really? Really, guys? <laughs> I have to imagine that was part of the joke, that they're like, okay, make them okay, but make them progressively worse. That's the only thing I can think of, but it's a still a funny bit nonetheless. But then the brothers are able to come in and kind of save him through th th quite, quite literally the easiest way possible. They run in with the buff, Bobby walks out of the room and that's it. Obviously it doesn't end as well as we would like, but considering the multitude and the amplitude of the situation, kind of easy how they literally run in spray some people, and then run out. But Bobby does find something about their plans, like an overall map chart about what they're gonna do, and then he gets into the van, and it does turn out that Dick got him. Dick shot him. Sam holds up Bobby's hat, it's like, hey Bobby, got your hat, but Bobby doesn't answer, and they turn around, the episode ends with them both calling out to Bobby's name. Now, if I am correct, the next episode after this is probably gonna be my highest rated episode of the season, but this episode still does a good job of reestablishing what the villain is. The humor in it's pretty good. The horror bits are actually surprisingly really good. And there's just some generally good supernatural bits in this episode. Like, it cannot be faulted on that. They do a decent job of what they're doing. It's actually a pretty good, okay episode. Some of the bits are a little bit, like, antiquated. Uh, I did like the Ranger Rick jokes, even though as low ball as they were. But otherwise, I actually have to say that I enjoyed this episode a lot more than I expected. I thought that it was going to be kind of eh, considering the last bit of episodes that we've had, but hey, I'll take it. Anyways, I'm gonna give how to, uh, how to influence, no, how to impress your friends or whatever it is, how to win friends and influence monsters. I'm gonna give this episode a five out of seven. I enjoyed it quite a bit. But now let's see what you guys have to say about this episode. Let's read those comments off.
This episode introduces the rise of dick jokes. For some, it's hard to swallow, but I never took them too hard. It's another episode where the intelligence of the Leviathan really shines. I absolutely love Dick Roman is trying to avoid newspaper incidents to avoid being tracked by hunters and the public questioning his motives. I love how horrifically delightful Dick Roman is treating his other Leviathan family members to eat themselves if they get out of line. There's something also, something I really love about how Sam and Dean and their allies are being stretched within, with thin with li living conditions like uh, Hunter back in the days of Samuel Colt. They're really having to get to get off the grid more and more. Bobby having one-on-one -on -one with Sam and Dean is something special. The cliffhanger is beautifully and horrifically quiet, leading to the next episode, which is among one of my top 10 favorite episodes of the entire show. Ooh, high praise for that next one. It is pretty good, actually. I did watch it. Ed. This episode continues the thought line of the season, the boys losing everything they care about, including... Dean getting burnt out, and it further explores what the Leviathans are up to. Both plot lines are developed in predictable ways, but how they get there has some of Ed Edlin's signature quirkiness. Seeing Dean stoned by a sandwich is quite fun. That was quite fun as well. This is one of the most ridiculously weird vibed episodes, and I'm down for the, that stone Dean is adorable. They're rehashing things, the failed monsters from Eve, the initial days where holy water was the main defense. It's just blah. I like how it shows Dean losing hope. It's realistic. How to win friends and influence monsters. Bobby really shines in this episode to me. I really love the scenes where he has one-on-one -on -one with both Sam and Dean. He is truly the father figure to them. And I also like the scene where Dick Roman orders one of the Leviathans to eat himself. He's truly terrifying in that scene. It is a quite a funny... It's not only like a scary scene, but it is a funny scene because... There's such a mix of emotion in it. It's a good up and down. Okay, thank you guys for your comments. And now we've got the pre-season, oh sorry, the mid-season finale of season seven, Death's Door. Now there's obviously a lot of emotion that's in this episode, but as I remember, it's a good one. So give me your guys' comments about that episode and I'll read those off in the next review. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next week.